right in time. Yes. Good catch. Only fair. There is a north wind. Mm. It isn't the wind, it's the temperature. It isn't the temperature, it's the moon. All three are never right. Even so, the best fish in the Atlantic end up in our boat. Miguel, I'm uh, going away tomorrow. Only for a short time. A vacation, senor? No, a business trip. Anything you need for the boat? No. She will float until you get back. God willing. <laughs> and when you come back, I'm gonna cook you mullet. You can eat without fear. With a little pain afterwards. <laughs> You are very ardent. It happens. <laughs> what was the occasion? Was it your birthday or mine? <laughs> I didn't think whores were impressed by such matters. Oh, come. You are telling me I don't notice the difference between you and uh, old Gomez the dentist. <laughs> or me and young Belasco the croupier. <laughs> He hasn't got your strength. I'll bet you say that to all the boys. I do. The men don't come here to be insulted. They come to get away from their wives or the mothers of their wives. Or their children, their work. Or, uh... Well, just put me down as a creature of necessity. Was your wife good in bed? <laughs> she didn't snore. <laughs> Was she pretty? A body of silver and silk, and eyes the color of gentians. That is a lovely thing to say. Mm. Well, her boyfriend had a very nice turn of phrase. <laughs> She left some of his old uh, letters behind. But you did love her. That's all in the past. That's ah, better left. Oh, uh, keep this for me, will you? What is it? Something I want you to keep while I'm gone. Where are you going? Just business. You are driving again for criminals. I'm driving again for me. Because I'm getting ready to die sitting down here. I'm driving again. To see if my nerves and my brain are still connected. That's why I've... Not about the people that are paying me, you're right. They are criminal. Is it stolen? Is that why you gave it to me? No, no. It's just that it's real money. It's not bank money. If you were to look very closely under the picture of Benjamin Franklin, you would see that it said, this proves Harry Garms is still alive. And if it should happen to prove otherwise, <laughs> consider it yours. When do you go? Tomorrow morning. Come back later. 
I have two more customers, but I will cut it short. Come back and I will cook you something that doesn't taste of sardines. Thanks, but I have things to do. This work, is it dangerous? No, it's transportation. Are you Catholic? <laughs> In the old days before the fall, I owned a few shares. I will pray for you. <laughs> you... You think it would do no good to have a whore pray for you? She is not a whore who sleeps a bed with thee and he and me. She is a whore who has the heart of a whore. Believe me, I know.
Father, I've sinned. Not that was something else, and it's not the same now. Lately, I uh, haven't done much of anything. I don't believe much. But there's this thing I have to do, and I want to do it right. It's the only thing I know. It's for money. But I would like to do it right. That's all. Quiere confesión, hijo mío? No, gracias, padre. No es necesario. I already took care of it. Thank you. 
Okay, you can come on now. Man, I wish I was back in the penitentiary. There's some uh, clothes right here in the back. Are we going through Valaposa? It's not on our route. <laughs> Changing plans. We got business in Valaposa. What kind of business? <laughs> Fun business. Happy business. It isn't every day you break out a stir. Hey, that was pretty good back there, the way they put it together. That's what I call first class. Uh, what's in Valaposa? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just a taxi driver. I'm the passenger. I tell you where to go. <laughs> you just keep your hands on the wheel so everything looks right. <laughs> hey, that's pretty freaky. <laughs> what do we do when we get to Valaposa? We pick up my girl. Nobody told me anything about a girl. <laughs> That's because they didn't know anything about a girl. Just like they don't know what it's like to be months with a bunch of nuts and perverts. Don't worry. What's your name, anyway? Garms. Harry Garms. Everything's gonna be okay, Harry. Nobody will be upset with you as long as you do what you're hired to do, which is to drive. Would you bring me a gun? That's another thing they didn't tell me anything about. Are they gonna send you postcards when they go to the can? What are you, some kind of robot? <laughs> I'm sure making safe blowers tough nowadays. What do you do, bite through the locks? What's with this safe blower? You told me that's your trade. <laughs> I don't blow boxes, man. I blow heads. When I say bang, everything gets suddenly dark. <laughs> too comfortable. After all, it's been nine months and uh, I got a feeling you snore. <laughs> Don't go. I'd like you to meet your niece. Uh, uncle? Niece? Niece's boyfriend. I'll get you the bottle. That's all right. I'll get a drink upstairs. Okay, but uh, some things I want to ask you. Uncle. <laughs> Did you say you'd worked with these guys before? No, I haven't. Then who was your last number with? You wouldn't know. <laughs> Try me. Well, that was before your time. When did you do your last job? Nine years ago. Nine years? You haven't been on a job in nine years? That's right. Do you know what's happened to nine years, old man? They've gone to the moon. Well, it's 
not my kind of driving. Yeah, but what is? You're a hearse driver. He didn't even bring a gun. Did you? Yeah, it's in my bag. Thirty-two. You can't even slap a cat with one of these. Pea shooter for a gun and a dinosaur for a driver. This is going to be a good trip. Wait, you'll need the key. Oh, thank you. Use the mess up there. Sure.
How long have you been here? Two weeks. It's been pretty interesting, huh? No, it was very dull. You ever think he might not show up? No, I knew he'd come. Huh? You have faith in him, huh? It's not that. I know him. He's very determined. He'll kill to get what he wants. You should know that. He's not someone to take lightly. Well, he won't kill me. Until I get him across the border. Well, he's some other things before he's smart. So I wouldn't count on that. My name's uh, Harry Garms. Oh, my name is Claudine Shera. He calls me Claudie. Thank you for drying my things. Otherwise, I'd have been traveling in wet knickers. Which you wouldn't bear thinking about. so serious about, Uncle. It's a great day to be out of prison. Can this thing really travel? I know what it says, but can it do more than 120? What's this gizmo for, the ejector seat? Keep your hands off, Ricard. <laughs> sure, sure, Uncle. Don't take it so serious. When you can't see the funny side, you're dead. You might just pass away laughing if your sense of humor doesn't improve. <laughs> That's the stuff, Uncle. I don't like it when you go silent. It's like the guys they used to bring up out of solitary. They didn't know how to talk anymore. All right, since you're so eager for the sound of my voice, why don't we talk about the plans at the border? You can tell me, Uncle. I'll never talk no matter what they do to me. We cross near Perpignan. Shortly thereafter, we'll be picked up by Blue Citroen. He'll keep his right-hand turn indicator on all the time. When he cuts it off, we'll take the next turn to the right. That's where you'll be met. Great. Neat. Simple. No fuss. That's what it's like to work with the big boys, Uncle. Everything's got a lot of polish. <laughs> After that, it's Paris and some easy living. What do you do, Uncle? I think I'll go someplace where they don't call me Uncle all the time. <laughs> I'll be glad when we get rid of him. He's all right. What makes you say that? He's old. He's past it. He's not so old. Do you have some change? No. Senora, there. Thank you. Gracias. You're not telling me you could make it with guards. <laughs> It'd be like lying under a side of beef. You think you're the only one who can do it, don't you? No. But I think I'm the only one who can do it the way you like it. I didn't like it that way before I met you. What is it? Cops. Buenos días, señor. Buenos días. ¿Ha visto BMW? Ah, gracias. ¿Viene usted de lejos? Voy desde Vallaposa. ¿Puedo ver la documentación? Sí. Um, ¿Pasa algo mal? Uh, rutina. Gracias. ¿Viaja usted solo? No, no, no voy solo. ¿Cuántas personas? Uh, tres. Damn it, what did he tell him? I don't know. I'll wait in the john. What? There's a card. He's in the john. Ask him if he wants a lift. 
Don't stare. Just uh, ask him nice and sexy. Follow me. Are you looking for a ride? Which way are you going? North. Fine. Uh, me too. Good. Okay? Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. ¿De qué año es este modelo? Uh, 1957. Bueno, espléndido. Buen viaje. Gracias, adiós. What happened to your friend? The other man. That was as far as he wanted to go. Out! I don't understand. You understand perfectly, you son of a bitch. You were molesting my niece. I give you a lift, you start taking goddamn liberties. Out! about time. he really had it made. The next minute he was thrown out on the side of the road. <laughs> there he is now. <laughs> Turning into a good trip, huh, Uncle. Hey, where are you from, anyway? Well, my father's American. Uh, my mother was Portuguese. I was born in Chicago. I've never been to Chicago, but I'd like to see some of those places. O'Banion's well, Flower Shop, Valentine's Day Garage. You ever been to any of them? Well, they're probably all gone by now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I went to Newark once to find a place where they shot Dutch Schultz, but nobody knew what I was talking about. Hey, you didn't know any of those guys, did you? Dutch or Bucks, Moran? <laughs> What's so funny? What the hell age do you think I am? That was 40 odd years ago. Okay, I was just asking. I'd like to have been around in those days. Those guys had something. Style, I guess it was. I think it's only the movies. I don't think they'd survive today. I don't know. You remember that thing Dutch Schultz said when he was dying? A boy has never wished nor dashed a thousand kim. Nobody ever found out what he meant. Boy has never wished nor dashed a thousand kin? <laughs> Must have been delirious. Sure he was. But how many people are going to be quoting you 40 years from now, Uncle? Mm -hmm. Listen, 
Unless you want to be quoted about 40 minutes from now, you better crawl into your hole. We're only 20 kilometers from the French border. Oh, you think that's really necessary? No, I think you should stand on the running board with a Tommy gun and spat. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Very young. 18. How'd it happen? You can't hear anything back there except the rear axle. I used to go with his brother. And then when Paul turned up, he sent me to him. It was better with Paul. His brother was on heavy stuff. You, uh, happy living like this? We have good times. Don't you want anything else? What else do you mean? I mean, uh, the trouble, hiding, prison, being chased? My father was chased by bank managers and finance companies and doctors. He got it in the stomach. Shot? No. Duodenal ulcer perforated. He didn't say anything memorable when he died, either. He just lay there breathing his breath on my mother till she had to run out of the room and be sick. And when she was out of the room, he died. You ever been to the uh, Algarve? No. Is it nice? Very. I'll give you my address before you go. You never know, you might be passing through. What about Paul? Sure. Why not? I might even get to like him. Stranger things have happened. How long have you lived there? Nine years. When I quit this business, I went there with my wife and son. And I bought a house and a fishing boat and tried to blend into the landscape. Didn't work. So I stopped pretending and leased my boat to a real fisherman, and accepted the fact that I'm just one of those people who doesn't seem to belong anywhere. Where is your wife? I don't know. Right after our son died, she uh, went to Switzerland to have her breast lifted. I thought she meant by surgery. She never came back. If you've been out of this business for nine years, what made you decide to come back in? Mainly to see if I could still do it. Not that it's proved much. Nothing much has happened. You were very good back at the cafe. So was he. he kept his head all the time. Who's she? Ricard's wife. Isn't Nick here? Uh, Nick Casares? He couldn't make it. You'll do some money, right? Two and a half American. Yeah. Okay, if I count it? Count it on your way out. Get out of here, Gans. I'd just like to say goodbye. Where's Tony Peralta? You know Tony. He couldn't make it either. I'll be seeing you, kid. Uh, sure, been nice knowing you. 
Uh, boys never wish nor dashed a thousand kin. Okay, let's shake it up. On your way, Gaunt, and you two better get inside. Well, dirty bastard sold us out. <laughs> you did good, Uncle. Okay, you and Claude to get in the car. Gotta talk to this guy for a minute. trip then back to Portugal. Okay. <laughs> You know, when I was little, I used to think that the boogeyman couldn't get you if you kept every bit of yourself covered under the blankets. He could only get you if your foot or something was sticking out. <laughs> Seems a very reasonable theory to me. It is, believe me. Well, Uncle, what do you think? Seating you. Tell me about it, Ricard. Tell me all about it. It's all about staying alive, Uncle. Why are they trying to kill you? I don't know. I thought I was being sprung for a job. So who crossed you? I don't know. Somebody who had it in for me, I suppose. The same guys who sprung you. The same guys who hired me to deliver you. I suppose so. Maybe different guys. Maybe it was me. Maybe I masterminded it. Oh, look, Uncle, don't get all excited. What were you inside for? 
That had nothing to do with it. With what? What did it have nothing to do with? With this, with why they got me out. They got you out to kill you, Ricard. That's why they got you out. What I want to know is why they wanted to kill you. Yeah, well, that's my business. It's my business now. Because when they come looking for you, I go down too. That makes it my business. Why don't you forget about that thing? That's not going to answer any questions tonight. You think I wouldn't shoot you? Sure you wouldn't. But not here, not in Spain, not now. Not with all the Guardia and hired guns out there bumping into each other. So now you tell me the story or you're on your own. Unless I hear it all, I take my chances my way. I think you're the only man in the world that can drive. What do I need you for? We need him. Why? You can, you can rent a car. Or I can steal one. He lives in Albufeira. Do you know where that is? Sure, down south. He's got a boat. How do you know? He told me. He could get us to North Africa. Are you sure he's got a boat? I'm sure. You have to tell him everything. Oh, his stomach will drop down into his pants if he finds out what he's got himself into. He'll run out on us as soon as he knows the score. No, he won't. What makes you so sure? Because we're the only family he's got. Yeah. You're right. Go on, get him. to talk to you. Tell him to come over here. He's frightened. Is he? I wouldn't have thought he was that smart. All right, I'll get him. Okay. Guess we hold a party in your room. All right, let's have it, Ricard. And if you hold back, or if I even think you're holding something back, that's it. We split up, okay? Okay. From the top. About four years ago, I did a job. A big job. You'll remember. I haven't kept in touch with what's going on. You'll remember this one. Three men tried to kill another man. A man in a big black car with motorcycles in front and back. It didn't come off. We broke up and went into hiding. I came to Spain and started running stuff. Anyway, I got picked up here. I got five years. That was about nine months ago. About three weeks back, I got word they were taking me out. Who was taking you out? The same people I worked for before. As far as I knew, they were setting up the same hit. Only no mistakes this time. So they hired me because I know from nothing about anything, huh? Looks like it. Okay. The people who were waiting, who were they? Call them who you want, Uncle. They're the enemy. That's not the kind of information I'm interested in. Who were they? What were they doing there? Where were the people who were supposed to be there? I never saw any of those guys before. But they could only be on one team. They must have got wind of the hit and moved in. Well, how'd you spot them? When he said Tony Peralta couldn't come. I knew that. He got killed three years ago in the Bronx by a cop. I was with him when it happened. Okay, so they took care of your people. But who pays their bill? Are they big? <laughs> I wouldn't want to fall that high. I'm telling you, this is the big boys, Uncle. How can you get so cheerful about this, Ricard? We're ahead of the game. We run from them. Hey, these guys got the pool you save. There's no way. You, you got to run toward them. We go to the coast. We get a boat. No way. It might help if we ditch that car of yours. It's not exactly inconspicuous. If anything gets ditched, it's more likely to be you and not the car. Well, you're not doing anybody any favors, Hopalong. You're going to need somebody to cover your back for quite some time. Well, you won't be too high on the list. This is stupid. 
It is stupid to bait each other. Just make up your minds and behave. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Depends upon whether you want to be hunted on your own or in a group. <laughs> I suppose it does. Come on, let's go to bed. I haven't been to sleep in two days. I know, there's some things I gotta get straight. Tomorrow, it'll be easy tomorrow. Where's your car? Asleep. You know you're here? No. Come on. You're not comfortable. Get into bed. What's wrong? At this moment, absolutely nothing. You're wondering how you got into all this? No, I know how I got into it all. Do you wish you were out? I've been out a long time already. There's all sorts of death, believe me. What people call death is just a funeral. Mostly it's been going on for a long time. Yeah, I could have driven off and left you in that place. Maybe lived a little longer. What would I have bought with the time? Chance to play at being a fisherman who actually never goes fishing. Or um, a man pretending to be with a woman when he's actually with a whore. Over there, Ricard said, no matter what you call them, they're the enemy. It's not so. That's the enemy, kid. You get just so much, and I've wasted about all I have anyway. Only one thing. Do me no favors. No. I never do favors. Good. That's good.
Sorry for my introduction, but we got Sign of him? What is it? Jaguar behind. Be that Jack? Uh, maybe not. Wasn't that the car that passed us before? Tell us what's happening. I think there's two of them, or none. Well, there's only one way to find out. that gun away. Why don't I just knock it off anyway? Save one drink. You must be some kind of lunatic. Okay, what now? Now we see whether he runs faster from behind than in front. Now he's sticking. Now we'll find out. You can't outrun a jack in this. The horse is okay. Let's see what the jockey's like. Still with us. Yeah, but well, we're beginning to make him nervous. Well, come on, hot shot. You're guessing now.
Did I lose him? I don't know about him, but you nearly lost me. You okay? They're still coming. not there. You did it, Uncle. You shook him loose, you old buzzard. Go on, kiss him. It's better than me doing it. What? Something's wrong. You afraid so? You hear that knocking? I don't hear anything. It's using the supercharger too much. Something's gone. Does that mean we're going to have to stop? Rev it a little. Not too much, just keep the rev counter about 15. That's better. There's a car coming! What, me? I can't make it out! Well, it's your pigeon, rev it a little. It's the third piston. Now, Reverend, now, very gently. What's the score? Well, it could be worse. She's dropped a piston. Sounds like the compression rings are gone. We'll break up. How quickly depends on how hard she's pushed. I could nurse it to Albufeira with a little luck. Well, let's get going. something else, right? What are you doing? I like them that way. I like the way it was lying. I was trying to make it look like an accident. Collecting souvenirs, Uncle.
Get to the car right away. Get her started. Know this road? I know where it leads. I know how it's made. I might even have traveled it a long time ago. What is it the French call that? When you think you've been there before. She got a record? Quality? <laughs> no, why? You love her? <laughs> what is this, Uncle? If she stays with you, she's gonna be in an awful lot of trouble. With you, it'd be a bed of roses. Can you think of a single place you'll be safe? Don't start worrying about me. I couldn't take it. Why don't you, her? If she'd go with me, would you try to stop her? She'll do what she wants. I never stop any chick from leaving. There's your view, it's called. Can't we get a move on? The piston will break up quicker. I don't want to come in through the block. What are you going to do about your car when you get to Africa? Well, when I get settled, I'll send for her. You really are a panic, Uncle. I never called anything a her in my life. It. A car is an it. Would you regard everything as an it? What am I stopping for? I've got to get some sleep. Just a half an hour to clear my head. Well, it's getting back. I'll drive. I'll sleep over there. You don't trust me to drive her? Half an hour, no more. So now we sit by the side of the road. What if a cop comes along? Why don't you climb in the trunk? Oh, kiss off. Think of me as an idiot. I still have the feeling he'll turn us in when it comes to it. What do you think? It's possible. He asked me about you going away with him. What did you say? I said you could do what you wanted. Maybe it might be a good idea if you sort of let him think it was on. Or anyway, that it wasn't off. I don't like you sending me to other men. Reminds me of your brother. <sighs> you should complain. He sent you to me.
time? Yes. You asked him something about my going away with you. Why didn't you ask me? Well, just uh, ask him if he tried to stop you, if you wanted to go with me. When were you going to ask me? When it was all settled between you two? No, it wouldn't have been like that. What would it have been like? Well, I thought we might go to America. There's lots of places there, small places where there isn't any trouble. You don't have a criminal record. You'd get back in the States easy. I got a little money saved up. I could sell my house and my boat. You'd do all right. They're gonna get to him sooner or later. If they don't, somebody else will. It doesn't have to be like that. All right. I'll go with you. Why? Because you won't think of me as an idiot. That's right. Close now. I've got to make some arrangements. You wait in there for me when I get back, okay? to do something for me. In a way. Listen, I want you to go see Miguel for me and tell him to get the boat ready for a trip. Then I'm coming over later tonight and pick up the money I left with you. Right. It'll be over in a minute. Mad Dog Cole, they're gonna give it to him in a phone booth. Man, those things are death traps. It's my foot outside. Huh? It's all right, you're covered. I'm not back in about uh, 20 minutes, I think you should make for the Fisherman's Beach. Just keep going downhill until you hit the shore. Walk to your left, away from the big hotel on the front, until you come to it. You'll see all the boats up on the beach. Miguel will be waiting. He'll ask you if you're looking for a restaurant. 
You tell him you've heard his mullet can be eaten with very little pain afterwards. He'll take you across. There's no need to pay him. I don't know that I like being left here. It's a handy place to rub somebody out. It's not the place I'd choose to cross you. Take the keys to the car. <laughs> you leaving this as hostage? If you don't come back, I get to shoot it? <laughs> Something like that. She doesn't have a gun. Take this. All right, thank you. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. I won't go with you. I want you to know that before you go, just in case that's why you're doing all this. Thank you for telling me. I never really thought you would. Just telling him what he wanted to hear. Are you all right? I'm just tired. Get the money. It's in the bedroom.
Miguel, he's one of them. Dead for years. Come on. 